Hey everyone, welcome to another quick episode of Adam Answers SEO. Today I want to talk a little bit about metrics, specifically SEO metrics. I always get a lot of questions about what metrics are most meaningful to me when it comes to measuring, um, you know, perhaps a site's worth beyond things. Um, you know, I'm not talking about things like traffic and conversions and things like that, but rather just, you know, if you didn't have Google Analytics or you didn't have Google Webmaster Tools and you were just trying to get a, um, a, a sort of metric-based understanding of whether a site was worth it or not, or worth a purchase or worth whatever or not, uh, what would you look to? And I spend a, a lot of time looking at this, especially when it comes to purchasing um, expired domains and things like that. So for me, um, I'm looking at both qualitative and quantitative. I'm going to spend most of the time in these next sort of few minutes talking about uh, quantitative because it's uh, it's just a little bit more um, objective, I suppose, a little bit easier to talk about. Um, when I'm and th when I'm searching for an expired domain or a domain to buy uh, for the purpose of of ranking another site, uh, I'm, I'm generally looking at DR. DR is a um, a link based metric. It's uh, it's an Ahrefs link based metric. So it looks at the quality of the links inbound to that particular site in question, and it, it basically measures them based on. Uh, I guess a number of different factors, factors that I, I don't necessarily understand, but I've come to um, uh, I've come to trust. Um, I trust it because I've spent a lot I've spent a lot of time comparing the two, so looking at uh, DR and then looking at the the actual link profile itself in Ahrefs. So I I've, I can look at I say a DR forty and ex and and generally know what to expect as far as the link profile is concerned. So for me, that's a good metric. Um, it's it's one that I look at because I have access, we've got access to their their API, and so it's easy to pull that metric. Versus things like DA and PA um, Moz metrics, which um, it gets a little bit pricey if you want to use um, if you want to use uh, their API. So um, that's mainly why I use DR. The the next thing that I look at is is definitely the the links themselves and so this isn't really a measurable uh, metric or anything it's not something you can put a number to uh, unless it's DR uh, I suppose I will have a look <coughs> excuse me at every one of the every one of the links um, you know within reason I'll usually sort by DR and then have a look at the the inbound links and what kind of link is it? Is it in the sidebar? Is it in the footer? Is it contextual? Is it a blog comment? What's the anchor like? Um, uh, is it do follow? Is it no follow? Um, all those kinds of questions, just to get a sense of, of quality, um, a sense of diversity, diversity of inbound links. Um, diversity of anchor, di diversity of type of link, diversity of type of site, um, and then once I've sort of got a pretty good idea of what the link profile looks like, um, at that point I'm pretty much sold because if uh, I, I can usually look at that link profile and get it, and also sort of get a sense of what kind of traffic is coming in. Um, even with you know a site that's been expired for a little while, I I can sort of get a, a sense of once that site goes live again, what what it can sort of expect to see based on what links I see coming in, uh, and certainly you can use tools like Ahrefs, like SEMrush to get a sense of where they were uh, organic traffic wise previous to going offline. I don't find either of those to be especially accurate. But I can give you a sense of trend and you know whether there was growth before it went down or whether it was in a downward spiral or whether you know it dropped off in a big way um, you know sometime before it went you know whether you know before it expired and then maybe maybe that's a red flag but anyways so um, I will use SEM rush as well just to, to get a sense of, of that sort of or organic traffic. Um, what else will I look at? I will definitely pull up Majestic. Um, I usually, uh, I often start with Majestic, just but not not so much the TF and CF, so trust flow and citation flow, but rather 
I'll start with Majestic just from a, um, a category standpoint, standpoint, or rather a, a topical standpoint. So I'm looking at this particular expired domain because I have identified that its link profile is topically relevant to, I don't know, society and law. So society slash law, which is a, a subcategory of society. And, or, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, construction and maintenance or, you know, whatever. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it in the first place because for my client or for the site that I'm trying to rank, I want to see that it has topical backlinks, which is, is often based on, um, you know, what, it's, what their competitors have. So what the, the, the folks that are killing it in Google, what is the topic of their backlink profile? My client should have the same or better. So I'll look at um, another metric that I will look at, and I guess it's not so much a, a quantitative one, I suppose it's a little bit more qualitative, is the topic of the inbound links to that website itself. And, uh, and that can be done by just searching that particular domain, even though it's expired, searching that particular domain in uh, majesticseo.com, uh, and it'll pull up the, the TTF um, of, that particular, of that particular site, TTF being topical trust flow. And that will uh, certainly give me some, some insight into the topic of those inbound links, um, but also give, will give me some insight into the quality of those links because TF and CF also um, go to, um, go to su su I guess, suggest the, the quality of those inbound links. And I'm always looking, I mean, I try, I try not, I, I do find there is some, um, I, I, I don't find CF and TF to be super, super accurate, especially when you're working with expired domains, because it seems like sometimes, you know, if, if the older it gets, it can just sort of disappear. Um, and then when the site goes back online, it can reappear. And all of a sudden you had no idea you had like a 20 and a, you know, 20 uh, CF and a 25 TF or, or, or vice versa. So I, 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 I think I look at it more for, for um, the ratio. So I try and find an even ratio, 10 and 10, you know, 10 and 15, 15 and 20, something like that CFTF. And, um, and, and then I look for the topic and then if all that sort of jives, then, then I'm generally pretty happy about that. And then um, what else will I look at? Certainly I'll look at the, qu the quality of the archive. I'll look at the quality of, of the site. Um, you know, does it does it look good for starters? Is it gonna is it going to sort of promote a good user experience? I don't want um, uh, to point a website at one of my clients or one of my other websites um, that is just a piece of crap that people are gonna bounce off of because that um, that that's you know may not be right now, but in the future, I do believe that's going to be a negative thing, a negative sort of signal to send along to another website. So. Uh, I'm looking for websites that look like they're, you know, going to be used well, that have sort of a fresh design and uh, people are going to navigate those sites well, no, you know, very low broken pages, things like that. Um, I look for sites that, you know, have comments, so they, you know, maybe had some sort of a following or something like that. Um, ones with maybe social accounts. Now I'm getting a little bit greedy. I don't don't always see that sort of thing, but it's always nice to see if they have social accounts, things like that. Um, so those are sort of more of the the qualitative type metrics that I'll I'll look at. So I'll start with DR, um, and that'll just sort of give me a sense of should I even be looking at this thing. Then I will have a look at Majestic and get a sense of um, you know is this on topic which could be sort of, um, could be spun the other way. Uh, oft, sometimes I, I start with, with Majestic first just to, you know, uh, to minimize the amount of domains that I have to look at, just look at a particular topic and then sort by DR. And then um, I'll start looking at the actual backlink profile and anchor, um, anchor profile of a particular domain using Ahrefs. And then, um, and then uh, I'll go a little bit deeper with Majestic, check out CFTF, and then check out the actual site itself, check out those qualitative metrics I talked about. And, uh, and that sort of will help, that will help me um, determine whether um, 
whether I care about this site or not. And then once it goes live, um, uh, or usually once it goes live, because I find DA, because DA is wrapped up in so many other things beyond just, um, just you know, like, like DR, DR is just, you know, pretty much just links, I believe. Uh, because DA is, is, is more than that, um, I'll usually wait till it goes live to decide whether I sort of care about it um, even, you know, even further. If it has a good DA once it goes live, then I'm, you know, kind of stoked because I, that's sort of a, a more general metric. It's taking into account more things. Um, so uh, that, that's, that's sort of how I, I look at metrics and um, they aren't, I, th I think at the end of the day, what I care about most is the links. Um, regardless, I, I've seen met, many a time where um, where the the metrics were, were crap, but the links were good, and it's just uh, I don't I don't know if it was a glitch or what it was, but um, at the end of the day, uh, get yourself an Ahrefs account and just look at the links uh, and 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 dissect them as well as you as well as you possibly can, and that'll give you sort of the best indication of the the worth of a particular site that you are um, looking at buying, assuming you don't have, you know, Google Analytics or Webmaster Tools or, or any other sort of conversion um, style metrics. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that was helpful. If at, um, at any point uh, you have any questions or concerns or thoughts, please share them with me in the comments section. And, uh, and as always, if, uh, if you've enjoyed the content, I always appreciate a good subscribe or a good, uh, uh, you know, uh, follow on, on Facebook or wherever, wherever you are digesting this particular piece of content. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day.